Here at the venue in the Swartkopis Hills, Amy was getting to see the fruits of two decades of time, love and care invested in the charismatic little girl from Matitiele in the Eastern Cape who saw eye to eye with Amy from day one. Oh, I'm so excited because I'm maid of honor and mother of the bride today. We've grown up together. She taught me to be a mommy. <laughs> And it has been an incredibly wonderful time and emotionally the last month has been amazing. It's bonded us in a very special new way. Amy is my matron of honor and the reason why she's my matron of honor is when I thought about the concept of having a maid of honor and the roles and what they do and what they symbolize in your life, she was a person because she's my mom and my friend. So you want somebody there who is your backbone, somebody there who's solid in your life. Gugu went on to become a deputy head girl at a top high school with distinctions in matric and an obvious taste for romance. The theme of the wedding is lovebirds. And initially when we thought about it is I thought I wanted, hence the setting, something more classical, vintage. For Gugu's wedding, what we've done is we've given her a classic, elegant look and feel. We've given it a bit of a country twist by adding a little bit of tin and stuff into her table decor. When we look at her flowers, she really wanted white flowers. So what we've done is we've gone for the baby's breath. Then we've also got a little bit of a succulent in a nest in a beautiful birdcage and um, given her a bit of crystal so that we can get that elegance through that she really wanted for her wedding. Cindy Lee Joseph was delighted to hear that her client had an unapologetic appetite for sweetness. For Gugu's white wedding, we've got the theme of the two lovebirds, the two doves. It's a four-tier cake. It's a red velvet flavor with a cream cheese filling, which is the bride's favorite. It has ivy leaves and a little bit of lily of the valley on two of the tiers. And then everything else is just a little bit of accents to try and bring in the arches of the venue and just keeping it a little bit more classic. Since school, Gugu's lived at home in a flat Amy and Leighton created for her. So this was a giant leap she was taking. For me, getting married means that I officially get to move out of home. <laughs> so I was quite sad that I won't have Amy around me constantly all the time. When I actually decided to foster her, I said there's going to be one promise. You do not leave home until you get married. I cannot believe the day that she arrived. And I think about it, I'm not so old back, you know. But it is, it's time. She's 27 years old. It is time for her to leave her. I'm going to miss her. She's my best friend. So it's going to be quite an emotional thing. But it is time and I have to let go. <laughs> it's a very exciting day for her. And we've spent 20 years now with Gugu in our home as our own child. And uh, we're exceptionally proud that she's not only achieved very well educationally, she's achieved a, a tremendous amount in a career. And now she's chosen a fantastic husband, and I think she's got an awesome future ahead of her. No, we're very proud of her. And so to the groom, Chopolo Machate, of whom news spread fast, even to the ends of the earth, and to family like Sarah Jo Bali. I'm Gugu's cousin, and she's been my cousin since I was three. Um, and she's been a huge, wonderful part of our family in New Zealand. I found the wedding absolutely stunning. I think it brought out a huge part of um, and related to Gugu's faith. So for everything she is and for how much she believes in her mighty and like brilliant God, it was so stunning to see them standing there together um, and really celebrating and being together for the rest of their lives. So it's exciting. I am a sister. I consider myself to be a sister um, as far as Gugu's concerned. And I especially in from London to be here. It's lovely to be back in South Africa and more importantly to be here to share the occasion with both of them. I love being here to just share in the day. My sister Gugu, she has obviously got married now and I've got a brother-in-law so and I've always wanted a brother so now I'm quite happy for that. I love you Gugu. They're beautiful. Nobody's like them. They have a good life. I've known Hopolo for his entire life. I'm about six years older than him, so I was always his brother. And uh, when his parents were busy, I would go to school, watch his rugby matches, give him all the support he had, and also guide him on which girlfriends were good or were bad. And I guess that's why he's ended up with Google today. From the day they met, so seven years ago, I knew at the time she's the one. And thank heavens he also saw, saw it in the same light. I'm very happy, all the best for them. This was just one of three weddings, including a Zulu and a Pedi ceremony still to come. But there is enough love between these two for ten weddings. 
It's been a fantastic night. Um, it's been very emotional. It's been blessed. It's been full of love. And wow, I'm really impressed. I never thought that it was going to be the way it is. And I'm glad it is. And um, thank you, babe. Thank you so much for your love. And you make me look forward to my future. And that's an important thing. Thanks, babe.